Hi, I'm Alex McRickard, and I'm the Aquatic Education Coordinator here at DWR. You may have recently heard about invasive zebra mussels in the news here in Virginia, and we wanted to take a moment to warn anybody that has recently purchased Marimo moss balls that they may actually be contaminated with invasive zebra mussels. These moss balls are commonly sold for aquarium use under trade names such as Beta Buddy and Mini Marimo moss balls. Contaminated moss balls have been confirmed in 2021 in pet stores across Virginia. Zebra mussels are small, D-shaped, thumbnail size or smaller, and they have black and white striped patterns. Moss balls could be contaminated with young zebra mussel individuals even if they aren't visible to the naked eye. Once introduced, zebra mussels have been shown to be highly invasive and they can cause significant ecological and significant economic damage. They tend to smother native mussels and generally just cover the entire substrate of a water body in addition to clogging water intake pipes at different facilities. Now we're going to hear from Chief of Fisheries, Dr. Mike Bednarski, who is going to go into a little bit more detail about why you should never release your aquarium organisms into the wild. Thanks, Alex, for that information about zebra mussels and the marimba moss balls. The zebra mussel case provides a really great example of why you should never release a species from your aquarium into the wild because they can have serious consequences. And the truth is we don't know what species are going to be invasive oftentimes until it's too late. So it's better safe than sorry. Uh, just as a reminder, it is unlawful in Virginia to release the contents of your aquarium into the wild and pretty significant penalties are in place for those that violate these requirements. If you have recently purchased Marimo moss balls, please see our website for proper disposal instructions. And if you find zebra mussels within your Marimo moss balls, please contact the Department of Wildlife Resources immediately. Thank you for your attention to this matter and for your continued support in helping DWR meet its mission to conserve Virginia's wildlife resources.